Boy, that sun is in the way. I love it. I love it, though. Sunshine, here we come. All right, welcome back to Cobra Vids, guys. Hmm, you can tell I've been working on a truck already today. This ain't my first video today. <laughs> well, anyway, today we're going to show you how to check the transmission fluid on your 2013 F-150 3.5 EcoBoost engine. Oh, transmission. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's it back behind me there, glittering in the sunshine. Uh, this is kind of an interesting one. Um, as some of you probably already know, a lot of transmissions are becoming sealed transmissions. Uh, the Jetta, you have to pull out the first drain plug and uh, with it at operating temperature. And if a little bit of fluid drains out, then it's good. Huh. There's a little more to that, but uh, if you're interested in the Jetta, if you hap happen to have a Jetta 2017-ish, uh, then go back to my older videos. Uh, uh, there is a video about checking the transmission fluid on that car. That was an interesting job. Anyway, uh, the 2013 F-150, there she is right there. The first thing you have to do before you check the transmission fluid is you have to get this thing operating temperature. So we'll just run it. We just changed the oil in it. So, uh, so she's got some fresh oil in it. That's the temperature right there. So we're gonna wait for it to get right about in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it idle while I clean up from the last job. Well, okay, well the truck moved and now the transmission, the oil and the transmission is up to temperature. So one thing you have to be very, very careful about is this bad boy right here, right here. That thing is hot as hell, and if you touch it, you're going to burn yourself. But that is what we're after right there. Let me see if I can get some light on the subject. There we go. A little better. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find out what size it is. like it's a 19 millimeter I only got a stubby some of my tools are still packed away from moving after a year kind of ridiculous so I'm gonna use both hands and break this little tab loose that is just above the the front passenger side of the transmission pan again guys when you're tightening things like drain plugs and and things like this guy right here don't have to grill a torque it, man. This thing took a lot of effort to get out. But first, I'm going to have to go get, grab a rag because that is, yeah, that's pretty hot. So I'm going to go grab a rag and I will be right back. Okay, once you get the dipstick loose, if you want to call it a dipstick, you're going to have to make sure that your engine is started because this has to be done with the engine running. Okay. So, being very careful, you remove the dipstick. Hot. You should have gloves on. All right. And you, and you want to dip it. And let me see if I can get it to focus. Those little marks are A and B, and you want it somewhere in the middle there. Preferably right in the middle. So, now I'm going to dip this in there and pull it back out, and we'll see what it looks like. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, when I pull the dipstick out, it is right about the B, right on the B. You see where the fresh fluid is? If not, right at the middle line. But I, looking at it off camera, you can tell that it's a little higher than that middle line there. So my transmission fluid is in the safe zone. So I'm not gonna worry about it. It's looking a little dirty, so I might have to change it fairly soon. Alrighty, well, that's really going to wrap it up. Oh, I just wanted to make sure that I mentioned that the wrench I used to get that drain plug off was in 19 millimeter, just in case. It might help you out. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a big old thumbs up. Help us promote this video and Cobra Vid so we can continue producing great videos on all kinds of sorts of things just for you. Until next time, guys, stay safe, stay free, and we will see you on the next one. I'll see you. I'm telling you. I promise.